Okay, guys, so I'm at the puzzle now with the stained glass windows. I think I've solved it. What you have to do is, if you look at the picture, you can tell she's got a green headband, a purple necklace, and a orange bracelet. Hey, everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster. And um, before we move on, I just realized this jewelry box, I, I just did this and I, I reloaded the save. If you, um, sorry, if you examine it, and then if you just check it, there's a switch. Will you press the switch? Yes. Okay, we press the switch. Um, okay, what happens? We press the switch. Maybe turn it around. There's a switch. Will you press the switch? Press that switch. Okay, we press two switches. And now there's a mask inside. This is the death mask. Um, if you remember in the graveyard, there was like a tomb we went down, and there was hot, there was loads of like statues with masks in. Um, Faces that had missing parts. Now it looks like this mask is one of those masks that we need to um, put in the slots. I think there was four different ones, so there's another like three masks that we need to find. So for now, we're going to put this in the chest. And um, we're going to move on. So we're still looking for some more doors to open with the new keys that we got. Um, pretty much all those other doors that we've seen, like around the ground floor and all that, we can't open with the key. So we're going to go upst upstairs, I think, and see what we can do. If we open up the map. See, there's not even that many doors, really, that we haven't explored. On this side either. I think it's more on the other side of the hall. There's two doors that we haven't been through. The red doors. So we're going to head over to that side. Because this door on the right hand side that we're closest to. The red one. Um, we've tried that and it didn't work. So we're going to go through this door. We're going to go through. Let me try and figure out which door we have to go through. Not this door. The next door. So it should be this next door. If we can go through there. You can see there's a red door at the end of there. We should try that out. Oh, I think we killed the zombie that was in here. The one that came back as like a super zombie. And it should be this door, right? Yeah, this door we haven't tried. You use the mansion key. Okay, there's no further use for this key. So, I'm guessing... Which key was that? When we discard it, we'll see. Oh! We don't have any keys. So that key that we just got, that new one, that must have only been used for this one door. So, um, let's go inside here. Looks a bit... It's a different door to any other. It's a bit old, spooky. Um, okay, there's a big mass. Oh my god, that's huge. That's the snake that killed Richard. Holy crap. <gasps> Holy shit, Ooh, that's, that's creepy. That is creepy. There's a mask there, it looks like. Whoa. Can we shoot it? So this is going to be like, a, this is a boss fight. Our first boss fight. So when he it looks pretty simple actually, when he starts moving, we shoot it. So just gotta make sure his head doesn't get too close. Right there, okay. So as long as we're near his tail. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is giving me goosebumps. Holy crap. Maybe we should have brought the shotgun along. Okay, that's a bad camera angle. That's a really bad camera angle. He's right in front of us. Okay. Move where am I? Okay, I'm right next to it. These camera angles are things that's making me take, 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 take damage right there. Uh, go away. <laughs> How many bullets does this guy take? So he's right there. Let's get him around the pillar. He's standing up now with his head. Um, hey, he didn't like that. He made a weird squeak noise. 
Oh, what? That was nowhere near me. <laughs> Maybe it was. Just a bit unfortunate, really. Just gotta keep our distance. So he squeaked again. Is he dying? No, he's just gone flat again. Okay. So there seems to be like a few phases with the boss fight. This is a that's the worst camera angle right there. Oh, is he making an escape? I say he's given up. Not waiting to exhale. Okay. I think our health We're poisoned? Holy shoot! How did we get rid of poison? Can we just heal that? And it goes away? Is it a death mask? Yes. Um so do we die if we don't heal ourselves? Because if we do, that is nasty. Okay, so it seems like you only come in here for the death mask. Um, she's reaching for some shotgun shells. That's good. Anything else to search for around here? I mean, if I'm bleeding out right, with poison, I want to get healed as soon as. Right, so it seems like everything is to be found has been found. Like, if we can check the map, it'll tell us if it's green. Yeah, we're all done in here. It's green. Okay, so that was um, that was a bit of a shock, a bit of a surprise. Wasn't really expecting that. So we got two um, of those masks in, like, in quick succession. Yeah, I'm poisoned. Oh, we, oh, we got the serum for the other guy, didn't we? We don't have it on us, though. Is this Barry? Barry, where have you been? He didn't really seem to be worried right there when he appeared. Like, he looks a bit suspicious. Barry? How the hell did Barry carry us all the way here with zombies in the corridors? So Barry is doing his crazy shit again where he keeps going missing. He's, he's an absolute dick at times. <laughs> so we've got two masks now. Let's put this one in the chest with the other mask. I think I think there's four. So once we get all four, we'll then worry about taking them to the cemetery. The ammo's running a bit low right there. Okay guys, I've decided to get the shotgun out and let's equip it. Just because the enemies are a lot tougher at the moment with the um, the claws and all that stuff, so I'm not going to shoot any normal zombies. I'm going to I'm going to use it for the the new ones, the ones that are going a bit ballistic and situations where I'm just like blocked in by like a multiple amount of zombies in a corridor. Otherwise, I won't be shooting any. Um, let's open up the map before we move on. So we're on the left hand side right there. We've been everywhere. Actually, there's a door at the end of a corridor over there that we haven't actually even tried. So if we go, if we stay downstairs and go around the corner. I think there's a zombie right in front of me somewhere. Yeah, you can see him right there. So let's get this guy to um, maybe come around the corner and we'll... This corridor is quite wide, so we should be able to get around him. So now if we go around this side. Yeah, nice and easy. We check these drawers. There's nothing but cleaning products inside. It smells faintly unpleasant. Alright, so um, if we check out the map. If we go to the end of this corridor, go through the door. And then there's a door at the end we haven't even tried. Which is a surprise to me. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, okay. And there's stuff in the other doors that we haven't finished um, clearing. You know, because it's red. There's items that we found. So, oh god, there's, there's zombies outside the windows there. Um, Quickly, I'm just gonna... Oh no, I remember what was in there. That was the, um, the little statue with holes in its head or something. I mean, we weren't sure what to put in there, so we left it. And we've still got no items to put in there. All we've got is a shotgun and ammo. So this door, we haven't even tried. De -de -de. So we've got no more keys actually as well, so all the doors are either unlocked or don't require keys, hopefully. Okie dokie. What do we have here? We've got like a generator. So if we look at this, the lid on this water pump is open. Pump the water. Which way will you turn the switch? 
That's not a direction, is it? A red and green. It's not a way. It's a colour. <laughs> so, um, I have no idea. Let's just turn the red one. Holy shit, what's that? Hey, hey, hey. I've got chemical... Um, I've got an... Uh, just, okay, I'm not going anywhere near that. I've got an item in the chest that can kill plants. Maybe we should put that in the water. I'm going to go back and get that because I, I want to clear this area and I think that's what you need to do. Chemicals to use on plants. There we go. So let's get that. And um, see, we've got some fuel as well. Fuel canteen. Would that be used for the generator? I might take that along with me just in case I need it. Because I don't feel like coming back again. Okay, so if I stand by the water and I, if I use this item. Here we go. Oh my god, it goes like red. So that should kill the plants now if I spray it on them. Lid on the water on his open, pump the water, yes. Which way will you turn the switch? Let's do red again, because I seem to spray on the plants. Oh, they don't like that, do they? Oh my god. Hopefully that kills them and it doesn't just make them angry. Now which way is what does green do? The water's already being pumped, stop pumping. Um, no, for the moment, let's leave it. Okay, you can actually see where the green one leads to. Oh, there's another mask there. That's good. So we've got three masks. That's really good. Just need to figure out what the last one is now. I think, I think there's four. So we got some um, healing as well. Oh, there's loads of them here. I think we should just stock up on these, shouldn't we? Because we're going to be heading back towards that chest now anyway, so... We don't need to keep an inventory um, empty. Let's just quickly try and stop the pumping. Now if we turn it to green instead, does that do anything? Oh no, poison the... <laughs> it's a good job I took some of it anyway. You don't use this anymore. Yeah, so... I poisoned the, um, the herbs. There's only two left there, I picked up um, three of them. So it's not a big loss. That was just a bit silly, really. Okay, so we should be done there. We got the uh, mask. Silly, silly. Now, hopefully the zombies won't come out the windows. Yes, of course they might do. They can stay there. We're going to leave this room anyway. Now, I just need to figure out where the last mask is. Oh, zombies right there! What a cock! What a cock! Okay guys, so apparently the last um, death mask that we need to find is in the room with the the paintings, you know, the, the stained glass windows where you can change the colours where the crows were. And there's a puzzle there you have to do with the switches of the colours. And um, I did it wrong, that's why the crows attacked me. And there's a zombie there! Um, let's just open the map a second. I'm just trying to make my way back. I, I don't think I know where I'm going. <laughs> Um, there's a door there. There's a door, there's a room. I think it's this room we're heading into. We haven't fully explored it and got all the items. Okay, so... Yeah, it's not this one. Oh, it's the piano one. It's just, it's just the, um, the save ribbon in there. We don't need to really go there just yet. So, we're going to head over to where the... Um, that puzzle was with the... The, um, the stained glass windows. Uh, there's a fast zombie here. So we'll have to kill this guy with a shotgun. Hopefully that's him dead. Seems like it is. She's not turning towards him. I'm um, trying to figure out where the hell this stained glass window puzzle room was. I just can't remember. I feel like it might be this way. Um, looks like it's ready to fall apart. We're going to go through it anyway. But, uh, I can't remember where it is. I think it might be down this way, um, if you go... Um, let's get behind this zombie. Is it this way? I think, it, I think it's this door. Yes, it is. Okay, so the crows are trying to kill me. Okay, guys, so I'm at the puzzle now with the stained glass windows. I think I've solved it. What you have to do is, if you look at the picture, 
You can tell she's got a green headband, a purple necklace, and a orange bracelet. And when you look at the pictures, it tells you. I'm just gonna quit out of this a second. I'm not gonna press the button just yet. It tells you that people are wearing like he's got a necklace on, so you make that purple. Um, the guy, that guy's got a, um, a bracelet on. When you look at it, the picture. So a picture of a valiant wearing a bracelet. So you make it orange because she's wearing an orange bracelet on the last picture. So it's all just matching. Um, I'm not gonna press the button. It's all about matching the break, the jewelry on here to the pictures around the room. So I think I've done it. So let's press yes on this. Lisa protected by the free spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. So there's a switch at the bottom of the picture. So we should be able to press this now. It should solve the puzzle. Here we go. So the door is opened, and there looks like it's the final mask on the ground. So we can pick this up now. Hopefully nothing will come and attack us. So we have all four death masks in our pockets. Um, you use the lockpick. Okay, so this is the um, we're back. Out, we're right where we need to be actually, because this is the gate that has to be opened from the other side to get um, to get through. So this is a um, tomb should be just here. We go down the stairs, and now we can use the masks. It's pretty good. So the spooky dungeon. So it doesn't really look like we're looking for Chris and Wesker anymore. We're just exploring the mansion, you know, because it doesn't make any sense to explore this deep into the, the graveyards and all that stuff. So a statue of a hole where the eyes should be. So we need to find one with the with no eyes. So that's got no eyes, that's got no eyes and no mouth, so we just need to use this one. Here we go. Okie dokie, so there's something with a lot of blood inside there. That one also has got eyes, nose and mouth missing, so... Didn't mean to click on that there, I can already see it. Eyes, nose and mouth missing. That's that one. Oh my god. What is in there? <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't come to life. <laughs> That's got its um, nose missing, I think. Yep. This is. If I was Jill, I would not be doing this. Okay, now mouth missing. Here we go. So whatever that is, it is now on the ground, and I think we have to go and approach it. It seems to have opened. There's a dead body inside. The door's closing behind us. And knees up. Holy shit. So we have got a shotgun, which is good. And he's coming at us. He's coming for us. He can run like a mofo. Let's try and get past him quickly. Way. Okay, you got a little bit stumbled there. He's going to get us there, in the face as well. Get off me. Don't you dare. Grave digger. So that should mean he's dead, because we've got a trophy for it, I hope. Yeah, you can't aim at him anymore. Okay, that's good. So it looks like, what, is that shotgun shells on the ground? Did they fall out of the box? What were they doing inside the box? That's quite good, because that's the weapon we're using as well. So let's reload that. Let's look inside the coffin. There's a switch. Press it. Oh, God. Not just yet. Let me just explore, see if anything else has happened. <laughs> knife and knife for two for the tooth is written on the, um, the wall there. So I think our only option right now is to press the switch. So let's open the gate. There's something here. Will you take the stone metal object? Yes, I will. Now, with this item, possibly we can put it in the door that is downstairs in the mansion because there's, um, there's a door with like a few two different holes in it and that looks like the type of slot that would fit it fit in there so let's um let's go back upstairs get back inside the hall now just below us down these stairs there should be some glass doors, and I think this this um, new item might fit inside there. We've got another emblem crest thing that can, might fit in there as well. If it's the same shape. Okay, it's not necessary to use this now. Okay, stone and metal object. Am I in the right place to use that? I mean, because if you look at this, look at that shape. 
the octag octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. Let me try that again. Maybe I wasn't in the right position. Okay, that worked that time. So we've got one of them in place. And um, I think that we might have the other one in the chest. Okay, guys. This is the item I was thinking that might fit in the door along with the other um, octagonal shape. But this one is shaped a little bit differently so it won't fit. So we need to find something else to fit in that door to open those doors. Um, and that's all we've really got time for with this video, guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.